Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. I am Fredicia Liburd. The Nevis Island Administration will be implementing a tax incentive package geared towards the rejuvenation of communities and businesses as part of the homecoming celebrations for Culturama 50. The Culturama 50 Island Enhancement Incentive Program will run for the period of February 1st to August 31st, 2024. We expect because it's not just Culture Armor 50, but we're also having a homecoming celebration, that Nivisions and Kittitians and persons of Nivision and Kittitian descent are going to be coming home in large numbers for Culture Armor 50. And so we are asking our people to partner with us and to improve their homes and businesses, their yard spaces, uh, to, in a sense, give the island a lift. And we all know sometimes a simple coat of paint can be a tremendous boost in improving the aesthetics of the island. And so, to make that more possible and feasible, the cabinet has decided that we will exempt persons from duty and from the customs service charge on any purchases that have to do with the aesthetic enhancement of your properties. So if you're going to do fencing, if you're going to do painting, if you're going to be changing windows or doors, exterior windows or doors, uh, anything to enhance and lift your property, we are minded. If you're doing walkways and those, uh, I think somebody got in touch with me and said, what about landscape lighting? All of those things are things that we are prepared to look at. Each applicant must submit a completed application form, which will be available at the Ministry of Finance, building board approval if applicable, contractors' estimates of the cost of the project or bill of quantities, a valid government identification card, and a valid business license for commercial entities with up-to-date payment of taxes. I am hopeful members of the press and members of the public, that especially in and around Charlestown, that the commercial houses and those who have uh, commercial buildings in Charlestown will use this opportunity and get those buildings looking a lot better, perhaps, than they are. So if you need some paint, some windows, some exterior doors, as they like, then certainly that is what we are hoping. But it is a huge saving for people who want to do so. So especially, as I say, for those in Charlestown, some of those buildings in town really need a little coat of paint. We're encouraging you to partner with us and get your buildings up to scratch. Uh, we intend as government for those buildings that are under control, are under our control, we intend also to bring those up to scratch and to basically improve the aesthetics of the island as we welcome our friends and family home for Culturama 50. Premier and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Mark Brantley. The Culturama 50 Homestay Initiative is a new program in collaboration with the Nevis Tourism Authority, the Ministry of Tourism, and the Nevis Culturama Committee to expand accommodation for persons seeking a place to stay during the celebration of Nevis's summer festival, Culturama. During his remarks at the Culturama 50 press conference, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, John Hanley, mentioned that an information packet will be provided in each of the approved accommodations. It will contain a welcome letter, a map of Nevis, a copy of the taxi rate fares, a copy of the ferry schedules, a list of restaurants or dining options, Culturama 50 calendar of events, QR codes pointing to the C50 and Nevis tourism links, the, our websites and social media platforms, and a copy of the homestay rules and the guidelines. Hanley outlined the minimum requirements for qualification in the program. We are going to ask them to present one national photo ID, such as your passport, for example, a picture of the apartment or the villa or the duplex or the house to be rented, a description of the location of the premises, a copy of the house rules, a signed assurance of restriction of animals on property, and we also want to have emergency contact details. He also spoke to the requirements for visitors. 
They are required to complete an application form. And as I, said, as I said earlier, we are trying to keep it as simple as possible. So a very basic, very simple application form. They must provide their passport. And they must also provide their contact details. Visitors will also be required to sign a simple agreement with the homeowner that would include the terms and conditions, the costs, the duration of the stay, and other necessary inclusions. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, John Hanley. Farmers, fishers, vendors, and horticulturists who would like to participate in the Ministry of Agriculture's Agri-Expo 2024 are advised that registration for booths is now open. The fee for vendors who will be selling food is $300, ornamentals $175, cosmetics $175, and craft $150. The date for the Agri Expo has been set. It will be the 21st and 22nd of March this year. The location will be at the ETW Park. And our patron is Mrs. Ermin Hendrickson. The theme, promoting sustainable agriculture for a resilient future. And so we expect that one and all will go out as we tend to do. This event gets bigger and bigger. We used to call it the, the Agricultural um, Open Day. It is now being called the Agri Expo. And because in large measure it has grown and grown each year, each year it gets bigger. We thank our friends from Saber and Stacia who normally come in their numbers and we expect this year to see them in great numbers again coming for this event as we continue our cooperation with neighboring islands in food and food security and what we are calling in EVE is food sovereignty. The theme for Agri Expo 2024 is promoting sustainable agriculture for a resilient future. To register for a booth, call the Department of Agriculture at 469-5521 extension 6511. The registration deadline is March 8th, 2024. Still to come, we also expect on February 27th to have the inaugural call of Emerald Azura with 100 passengers and 76 crew. The details right after this break. Celebrating culture, embracing our history, it's Culturama 50, July 25th to August 6th. It's the Caribbean's greatest summer line. See you there. Welcome back. The Ministry of Human Resources in the Nevis Island Administration wishes to inform you of the Romanian Scholarship Program for 2024. The scholarship opportunity funded by the Romanian government targets candidates interested in pursuing studies at the undergraduate, graduate, and postgraduate levels. It is important to note that scholarships are not offered in the fields of medicine, dental medicine, and pharmacy. Additionally, each candidate is expected to undergo one year of language training. Applicants are encouraged to complete an application online via the link on your screen and forward a copy of the completed application form to the Ministry of Human Resources on or before Saturday, March 16th, 2024. For detailed information on prerequisites and application procedures, please visit the link on your screen. Two cruise liners will make their inaugural calls to Nevis in the month of February. Premier and Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Mark Brantley, says Spirit of Adventure, which was expected to make its call to the island on Wednesday, January 31st, will instead arrive on Monday, February 5th. That ship will bring some 999 passengers and 530 crew members. So a total of about 1,500 visitors on that day. So Monday, the 5th of February, we have about 1,500 visitors coming from that ship. 
It's a spirit of, of adventure. We also expect on February 27th to have the inaugural call of Emerald Azura with 100 passengers and 76 crew. And so that is generally the size of ship that we cater to. But with Spirit of Adventure, we're seeing a larger ship making a call here on the 5th of February with some 1,500 visitors on board. Premier and Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Mark Brantley. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.